Welcome to February's LeetCode Challenge. Today's problem is Peaking Iterator. Given an iterator class interface with methods next and has next, design and implement a peaking iterator that support the peak operation. It essentially peaks at the element that will be returned by the next call to next. So basically, if we have a list like this, one, two, three, if we peak, we would say, all right, your next element is one. If we do that again, it would still say, yeah, your next element is one. Once we click next, we return that one. Um, and if we peak, then it's going to peak at number two. So they give you a couple hints. It says, look ahead, cache the next element, um, all sorts of various hints. And this confused me because it seemed very simple. All we need to do really is to convert this iterator into a list. And if we want to peak, we just return the first element as long as that list exists. And if we want to click next, we just pop it off the first element. Uh, so let's start off with implementing that approach. Uh, that would be a lot easier. So if I was to do that, I could start off by initializing a list of some sort. I'll just make it an empty list. And we'll say while iterator uh, has next, which means there is another element, we are going to append to this list the next element. And we just need to do iterator dot next to do that. So now we have this list um, that has all the elements inside of our iterator. So if there's an L, then we just return the very first element there. Otherwise, it's going to return none. If we do next, we'll say the same thing. Look, if there's an L, then return the self dot L, pop the very first element. And has next is literally just make sure that the length of this L is not equal to zero. I hope that makes sense. Uh, so this is very simple if we just convert it to a list. It looks like that's working. Let's go ahead and submit it. And there we go. But obviously this uh, wouldn't be very acceptable for an interview. Obviously converting it to a list and just re-implementing it as a list is kind of cheating. Plus we're using like we're almost replicating the memory into like another list. So can we do this without storing all the values inside of our a list here? Could we do that literally using these functions from our iterator class? So that kind of changes uh, what we need to do. Uh, the first thing we'll have to think about is, well, we should store our iterator then. Uh, just put that here. And we need to have a couple of variables. We need to first store whether we've peaked or not. So I'm going to call this peaked. And in the beginning, it'll initialize to false. And we also need to store cache that peaked variable somewhere. Uh, this will start off with none, but we need to store this in order to return it. Because once we, since we only have two functions here, we can either click next, which is going to pop off the next element, or check to see if we have one. If we peak, we have to pop it off, store it somewhere. And next time when we click next here, then we'll just return that popped off one without popping off another one from our iterator. So I hope that makes sense. Um, so in order to peak, first we need to check to see have we peaked before? Uh, because if we have not peaked before, then we need to pop off the first an element off our iterator. So if, let's say, not peaked, then we will first say, OK, peaked equals true, because now we've peaked. We will pop off from our iterator the first element by using the next function. And then we'll return our temp. And this is going to be stored here. So uh, every time we peak again and again, it's going to continue returning that. Otherwise, just return whatever the temp is here. And I believe, do I need to set peak to false? No, no, no. We do that here with the next. So what we'll do here is, um, if we have not peaked, or if, yeah, if we have peaked, I should say, if self.peaked, then we're going to just return our self.temp. We should also check, make this back to true, or I'm sorry, back to false. And I don't think we need to reset our temp because that's going to happen if we peak again. Right? So I think we can just leave that. Otherwise, if we have not peaked, we will just return self.i.next. 
Now finally, has next. Luckily, we have a function from our iterator that already has this, right? So um, this is going to be a little bit tricky, but we have to say, look, if we have peaked or self.i dot has next, then return a true. Otherwise, return a false. So now we've implemented this without generating a list. We've just only used the functions available inside of our iterators. So let's make sure this works. Uh, okay, it looks like that worked. Submit it. And there we go, accepted. So there's variations to this. I'm sure you can clean up the code a little bit, um, but this seems to work. Hopefully that helps. And all right, that's it. So thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.